Let's go back to Friday night. It was elimination final win for uh, Brisbane over Gold Coast. And with the incidents that have already been discussed, this one's been overlooked a little bit. It's a challenge from Andrew McCulloch on Ash Taylor. It put the Titans playmaker out of the game. And about a week ago, you would have considered it perhaps borderline shoulder charge. But because of the incidents uh, we had involving Jack White and also Michael Ennis, uh, we've now got this new category of tackle uh, that is just as dangerous as a shoulder charge, looks like a shoulder charge, but is legal. That can't end well as far as uh, I'm concerned. Um, now, the other thing I want to talk about is the magnificent atmosphere at uh, GIO Stadium on Saturday night uh, as the Raiders went onto the field for their uh, qualifying final game against Cronulla. It's called a serious case of the Viking clap. And by full time, after uh, one of the most courageous wins in the entire history of the Cronulla Sharks, the Sharks hooker, Michael Ennis. He had a bit of a case of the Viking clap. He uh, took a little bit of the mick out of that uh, crowd, which will be there uh, this weekend for another qualifying final uh, against Penrith. I think in 2016, we can safely say that this comment in the press conference from Sharks coach Shane Flanagan was very much a blooper. Uh, after all the hurdles that we had to go through during the week and, uh, and then you know, losing weight in the first 10 minutes, uh, I thought it killed a Chinaman. Later on that night, uh, Melbourne had a 16-10 win over North Queensland at Amy Park. And this footage of the Storm players uh, doing a lap of honour with their little kids it initially was shown uh, live on the NRL's Facebook uh, live channel and uh, it's gone viral ever since. It's very, very cute, I've got to admit. Finally, should this lunge at the try line from Josh Morris in the game out here, uh, Canterbury uh, bowing out with a loss to uh, uh, Penrith on Sunday, should that have gone to the bunker? Is that momentum? Because he definitely gets the ball on the line in the slow motion replay. Seems strange they didn't go upstairs. Des Hasler certainly thought so. Uh, it was worth a look. Too many, how much the technology? Two million, two and a half. Is it worth a look? Well, you have a right story. Is it worth a look? I think it is. And finally, congratulations to Lee. They have qualified for Super League next year. They had a 48 40 win over Huddersfield. Would you believe that a few minutes after half time it was 48 to 10? 30 unanswered points from Huddersfield. But congratulations to the Centurions. They hung on to win their Super League next year. Don't forget to follow League HQ1 on Twitter, League HQ on Facebook, and download the White Line Football Podcast from iTunes. I'm Steve Mascot. See you next week.